I told you to wait until I was long gone. Can you follow the simplest of instructions? I understand you're going to prison for a long time, you sick bastard. Hey! Language. Oh, you're right. Come on. He was supposed to wait. He was supposed to wait. They're all... You were supposed to wait. You were to wait. of your friends why not whip up some cool robots to hang out with watch mystery science theater 3000 next for some cool how-to tips don't touch that dial Welcome to the Satellite of Love, where Tom and Crow have planned something which is apparently lovely. Oh, and darling, and just so lovely. That's right. Oh, Gypsy, we're giving you a shower. Oh, look, she's surprised. No, isn't that just darling? I'm not getting married. Am I pregnant? Oh, Gypsy, every woman gets a shower, and it's just so lovely. I'm pretty sure I'm a woman. <laughs> Open that one first, Mike. It's for me. Doesn't she look lovely? Pinking shears. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. thank you. How very oh, thoughtful. Well. And that's lovely. Oh, those are just darling, Crow. Okay, this one's for me. Yep. And it is pinking shears. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, just like mine. How darling and lovely. Well, yeah, Gypsy. I saw the crow got you the same thing, and that gave me the idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is from Cambot, and it is pinking shears. Oh, oh who I guessed? <laughs> okay, now Tom and Crow went in on one more. Yeah. Oh, let me guess, let me guess. Nope. Oh, I guess it, it is. is. Oh, 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 well, Tom oh, saw them and I had to agree. Oh, 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 lovely and darling. Yeah, they're they're pink. Pink. Meet the family who put the funk in dysfunctional as they merrily cavort in polyester. Positively disgusting. And remember, the air is human to forgive divine. Watch the totally free movie, Polyester, Wednesday night at 8.
Pontiac Firebird waits. 305 horsepower comes to life. Ram air induction turns air into fuel in a rush. Firebird, you're ready to fly. I am one with my Pizza Hut Rawlings game ball. I am a human highlight film. I Yo, hurry up. am awesome. But I ate the whole pizza that comes with the ball. So I Stink. am incredibly slow. I'm leaving. The game ball, $4.99 with any pizza. Keep the ball, share the pizza. Fool, you'll love the stuff we're made of. It keeps millions of Americans glued to their TVs every night. It's not the game shows, reruns, or the news. It's because they suffer from not sleeping. And they believe there is nothing they can do about it. But there are new ways to treat their problem. And newer prescription medications that can help. Maybe we should see the doctor. Sleep. It doesn't have to be a dream. All I can say is my psychic was right on. No way. Mine wasn't even close. Then you didn't get the psychic solution. The what? The psychic solution. You know, the ones with the real psychics. And they prove it with a free sample reading. A free psychic reading? From real psychics, even the call is free. Everybody should be calling. You can't go wrong. Call now for your free psychic reading. The call is free. The sample reading is free. Get the psychic solution now. Call 1-800-863-2276. What is that? That is unbelievable. A mysterious stranger just came to town. Does she have a boyfriend? A girl like that's born with a boyfriend. And for three lifelong friends... Do you guys want to do a shot? Nothing will ever be the same. <laughs> Critics call Beautiful Girls the first great comedy of the year. You boys take the ladies way too serious. <laughs> Two thumbs up. The cast is dynamite. Don't miss it. She's good. Beautiful Girls. It's the best. Rated R. Now playing. Hi, Chris Rock here, Comedy Central, on the campaign trail. I'm in New Hampshire. Now, why are you guys the Forbes? We like He's them. a genius. <laughs> we got Lamar walked here, Lamar walked here. Uh, over on the side, you can't see, there's a sign that says Lamar got his ass kicked here. And Maury Taylor. Maury Taylor, yes. Yeah, doesn't have a man. chance in the hell. Who would you vote for? <laughs> I mean, you can tell me, it's okay. All right, who would you vote for? Can't say. So right. we're here getting out our message. Where? It's anything. just you. Wake up. You're the only guy. <laughs> oh, we're here. Oh, the organization's happening. It's just you. <laughs> this has been so nice. Yes. Thank you all so much, oh. Audio. Well, thanks and everything. It was so yeah. much fun, Gypsy. Yeah. You got so much Great stuff. Oh, yeah. I really hope you like the pinking chair, oh, Gypsy. Yeah. I saw oh. them in a catalog and I just thought Gypsy. Oh, yeah. oh well, Tom, let me wrap up some of that chicken salad. Don't you, you know dare. No, no. Oh, oh. Girls, the mans are calling. Lovely. <laughs> oh, sorry. Didn't know you had company. Say, Mike, uh, you haven't seen Frank around anywhere, have you? I've looked everywhere. He didn't leave a note. The car keys are still here. He didn't mention anything to you, did he? No, nothing at all. Did you try all the Baskin Robbins? Uh, did you try Comic Book College? Uh, did you try all the emergency rooms? They all know them there. Yeah. Ah. The line of fire. Speed. Blown away. Nelson, look. I, I was just tidying up in Frank's room, and I found these ticket stubs in Frank's pants pocket. Now I really am worried. You know how easily influenced Frank is by the moving picture. Well, I wouldn't worry about it, Dr. F. I'm sure he's not serious. Yeah. Oh, hey, check it out, Gypsy. There's <gasps> another gift here for you. Isn't that lovely? Gypsy! Oh, Frank! Listen to this. Dear Gypsy, how are you? I am fine. I am going to bomb the living bejesus out of Deep 13. Well, it looks like I'm out of room. Best wishes, Frank. Yeah. Oh, my God! Frank, <laughs> Tom, bro! We've got to stop him! Oh, P.S. Hope you like the pinking shears. Oh, how very Pinking shears. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure Frank's not serious. He sure is, Mike. Those are definitely pinking shears. Yeah. Not about the pinking. What? I'm talking about the bomb. Hey, what? Dr. F., I think you should know about this bomb threat from Frank. Yeah. 
I knew it. I knew it. Just look what I found in Frank's closet behind his Jane Westall. Dynamite. <laughs> Not that I was snooping. But if I didn't snoop, I wouldn't know what was going on in Frank's life. All right, Mickey, I've got it taken care of down here. Why don't you take in Edward's The Sinister Urge with a short about personal hygiene. <laughs> Watch and learn, stink bombs. This one's got good health. Yeah. Well, anyway, call us if you need us, Clay, all right? Well, Gypsy, I think Frank would be really understanding if you return his pinking chairs and got something else. What if the first uh, floor oh, breaks? That's that's right. Right. Hey, hey, we got oh, moving! Oh, oh, my God! God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wendell Yo, the cleanest man in Boston. Are well, these sold door to door? <laughs> join us, <laughs> join us. Class from the eighth grade. They want to choose a boy and a girl from this class to be in their assembly. Who wants to be sacrificed? All right, put your hands down. They'll have to choose. The eighth graders called the herd. Whomever John and Arlene choose, you can be sure of one thing. It won't be anyone who isn't clean and neat. They'll sniff That's everyone. Being clean and neat is something everyone is expected to do. And for a very good reason. Here's the shrooms, Billy. It's important to your health. And to the health of those around you. Don may feel that he looks neat enough. Well, and that Don's he's clean wrong. Enough. But let's go back to the start of the day and see what we can do. There you are, Don. Back in bed this morning. Now a giant cockroach. First of all, form the habit of getting up in plenty of time. To sober up. Keeping clean and neat is a matter of forming oh. good habits and letting them work for you. Oh, man, what the hell did I do last night? Now, don't stall. If you lie in bed so long that you have to rush, how can you expect to be neat and clean? Lay off. You're suffocating me. The most important reed, thing, reed, of course, reed, is to reed, 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 in reed. summer. In summer. Or in winter, when you're hot and sweaty, every other day will do. Ooh. Make it a shower or a tub, whichever you like, morning or night. It doesn't matter, just so you keep yourself clean. Use a Brillo pad and comet. Remember your ears. They need a soapy washcloth. Kerosene and a match gets rid of the ear mites. When you wash your feet, be sure to get between your toes and the bottom of your feet. But you'll never be able to scrub away the stain on your sole. And keep a fingernail brush handy for your nails. You're not clean. If your fingernails are. You are now officially obsessive compulsive. <laughs> then rinse all the soap off. Rinse, damn it, rinse, Learn rinse! Learn good habits work for you by following the same order every time. So clean yourself in alphabetical order. <laughs> Use pumice on your tender nipple buds. And here's another habit. Wash your hair on the same day each week. Ah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, whichever day you choose. Keep a detailed log, though. <laughs> Use a good shampoo or soap. And rub in the lather with your fingers, not your fingernails. Here, let me help you. Lather up twice with a rinse in between. Why couldn't they have had Mamie Van Doren star in this thing? And after the second lather, when your hair is perfectly clean, rinse again. Keep rinsing till every bit of soap is out. <laughs> you almost done in there? What are you doing? There. Feels good, doesn't no, don't, it? Don't, don't touch that. Give yourself a good rub down with the towel until you're completely dry. Please remain seated until the shower has come to a full and complete Now, before stop. you brush your hair, be sure your comb and brush are clean. It's becoming Howard Hughes. Then, the day you wash your hair. Have an extensive filter system installed. Comb your Darren Stevens haircut. Your teeth? Comb them, you too. brushed them well last night. They're clean now. Brush them again after breakfast. So they'll be clean again until lunch. <laughs> Mad dog. <laughs> One more good habit. Before you leave the bathroom, flush. See that it's neat and clean too. <laughs> Towel and washcloth hung up to dry. <laughs> Cap back on the shampoo. Dun, dun, dun. Bathtub clean. Basin clean. <sighs> Pick up all the hairs with a tweezer. Yes. Everything is put away. Now have the bathroom sealed. Now your clothes. Your underwear should be just as clean oh, as you are. Hey, don't say underwear. Clean socks. But look at those shoes. Oh, oh, they Dad's vomit. Oh. What you need is the shoe shine kit. There, now wear this instead. There you are. You can make one like this yourself, you know. But that's a whole other film.
That's better, what isn't it? The hell is that? Be sure the top is back on the polish. Does this kid have a job no, interview? Dressing. Uh oh. That's no way to treat your clothes. But that's how they treat me. If they're clean enough to wear again, hang them up. Or just have your mom do it. Fold the trousers neatly over a hanger. There, that's it. <laughs> Work it now. There you go. <laughs> it's about three in the afternoon by now. <laughs> Put the shirts on hangers, too. Hang them up in your closet. Look at that closet. <laughs> Before you do another thing, get busy and straighten it out. Oh, man. Ah, shift into another time dimension if it helps. <laughs> Uh-oh, now your hands are filthy again. Hard work, isn't it? But if you learn the habit of keeping it neat, you'll never have to go through anything like this. Now, time for bed. <laughs> now then, a clean shirt, and you're ready to take a look at yourself. You despise what you see. Hair comb. Hey. Face, ears, and neck, all clean. And hot wax. Cuff buttons. Hmm? Clean hands. Some stigmata. Nails hmm. clean and Oh, red. the things those hands will do. Shirt buttoned and tucked in. Belt through all the loops. Trousers buttoned or zipped. Or not. Socks pulled up. Shoes shined. Mm -hmm. And shoelaces tied. Now to get pantsed and dragged around mm. the track. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, he's got fangs. Quite a bit better than the way you looked in class this morning. Okay. Now how about you, Mildred? Let's see what habits will help you keep me clean. You need a Mother Teresa. Too, of course. Girls have to wash their hair in the afternoon or evening, so there's time to put it up. Uh -huh. Don't go to bed with wet hair. Or a first date. Putting up your hair is something you have to learn. And everyone does it differently. It depends on how you wear it. Take the ribbon for my hair. You may still need to get help from your mother on this. <laughs> She's getting ready for a date with Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> this is a good time to trim your fingernails. Ooh. Make a habit of doing it the day you wash your hair. Every leap year. Boys like to use fingernail clippers, but girls can shape them better with an emery board. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to file open sores with an emery board? Oh. And see that little sore place where you pulled away the skin? Oh, honey, yeah. Next time, ask your mother to cut it, and you won't have a sore place like that. Or just amputate that finger. <laughs> Wait a minute, only nine? Don't forget your toenails. After a bath, is a good time to cut them, mm -hmm. because they're softer then. Yeah, he knows a lot about women. Cut toenails. them straight across, and not rounded like fingernails. Better yet, cut them pointy. Get a pinking shear. <laughs> oh, Mildred. Look at your clothes. Why, that's as bad as Don was. Don was? The producer? Things that are dirty should go into the laundry. Things that are clean enough to wear again should be folded and put away. Really? Make sure there are no wrinkles in it when you fold it. What about the fold? And that dresser drawer. I've rummaged through you it. better straighten it out this very minute. Why can't a woman be more like a man? In the 50s, people responded well to authoritative, disembodied voices. Oh. Ha <laughs> The fun never stops when you're clean and tidy. <laughs> if you learn the habit of keeping it neat, you'll never have to go through anything like this. Should I be a nurse or a housewife? And now that your room is neat and you're clean, isn't it nice to climb into bed? Unfortunately, it's time for school. <laughs> Good night, Neely O'Hara. In the morning, give yourself plenty of time. Say six you hours. Rush and be neat. Be sure your under things are clean. Oh, don't say under things. Well, are they? Your shoes should go on over clean socks. And take a look at your shoes. Right. Are they as neat as they should be? You know, the narrator should get back over to Johnny's. He's probably a mess by now. Before you put on your dress, Correct. it's a good idea to brush your hair. Be sure you've washed your brush. Don't put a dirty brush on clean hair. Ugh. Brush and brush and brush. At least a hundred strokes. <laughs> Just keep brushing and brushing and saying the name of our Lord and Savior. Look how it shines. You did get all the soap out last night, didn't you? Tail and mane really works. And now? The weather. What dress to wear? Hmm. Your dress has to be suited to the occasion. No, that one's just fine. Look at that. Let's go. What is my purpose in this world? No, 
That's a lovely party dress, but it's too dressy for school. Don't go tramping yourself up like that. There. That's more like it. Oh, I love that on you. But would another color look better? Hmm. As you watch colors, you will learn what combinations look best on you. Learn to mistrust your own taste. Hmm. And now, how do you look? Kind of parochial. You can see what a big difference a little extra care can make in your appearance. Who am I trying to kid? I've hit the glass ceiling in fifth grade. Good appearance helps you get along with others. Remember, people like you better but if you're pretty. Important. Conform. Clean and neat. It's something... And for our community. And to fight communism. It's simply a matter of learning good habits and letting them work for you. Don't you think you can do it? Let's get clean together. Can I carry your cell phone from school? And now back to the drudgery that is your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't see him. I think we're safe. Of course we're safe. We're in my Subaru Outback. I know the world's first Ford utility wagon. This beauty's got dual airbags, full-time all-wheel drive. It's more stable in the town than a blazer. What else you got? Get a brake and an Explorer. That's my Subaru Outback. The world's first sport utility wagon. Silver bullet, but shipped cold to tap the clean taste of the Rockies. Tap the Rockies. Good boy. Now, don't ask me why, but Sharon wants to meet you. So once she gets here, just say hello, act normal, then we're out of here. I can't believe our little Billy has a girlfriend. Okay, first rule, my name is Bill, and I'm not little. Bill? You're not gonna wear that. What? What's with that hair? What? Why is he in a suit? Cool, huh? Why did I agree to this? Hi, Sharon. This is my family. Let's go. Hey, wait. We're just going to McDonald's. Maybe they'd like to come with us. McDonald's? Yeah. That's okay with you, Bill. Martin Tupper is a divorced guy looking and looking and looking for the right woman. He suffers from a rare complex, acute female syndrome. Martin loves the ladies. Mm. And the ladies love Martin. He's the classic case of the patient afraid to love. Yet he has the beat of romance in his heart. Follow the tormented love life of Martin Tupper. Watch Dream On, Monday through Thursday nights at 10. Here at Comedy Central. If you haven't already checked out Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, you're missing out on a lot of laughs. And if you haven't been in our studio audience, you're missing out on even more. For tickets to Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, just call 213-852-2655. Meet the family who put the funk in dysfunctional as they merrily cavort in polyester. Positively disgusting! And remember, to air is human, to forgive, divine. Watch the totally free movie, Polyester, Wednesday night at 8. Yeah. <laughs> the scantily clad fray. <laughs> the maiden form woman. You'll never know where she'll turn up. <laughs> and Rosie Ruiz takes the lead in the Boston Marathon. Hey, she's trying to give someone the slip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the scene. The sinister urge is a silly urge. The sinister urge is a stupid urge. <gasps> Looks like a pump. Feels like a pump. Let me pull the <laughs> She must be one of Senator Packwood's days. <laughs> and she's into the pit for a new slip. She's got the Junior Johnson pit crew helping her out. Oh, help me, help me. Oh, what a lovely spot. Help! Here for the Lutheran picnic. <laughs> Courtney Love. This fall on ABC, get Courtney Love. <laughs> Quickly, into the TARDIS. What? TARDIS? They're not dealing with AT&T. Operator! 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 <laughs> Give me Sylvia's mother. Operator! Are you? Operator! Richard Diamond, Operator. Yes? Oh, Jesus isn't what? on the line. Where? Yeah, yeah. Hold on a minute.
Fine. Klein. Klein. <laughs> My favorite character. Stop lying. Get all this information. Yes, sir. Then get a squad car ready right away. <laughs> you don't direct Klein. You just get out of the way. You two stay right where you are. We're on our way. Where are you, by the way? Damn. Oh. Ready to murder on a Friday afternoon. Randy, we're going out. Wow, he's got a huge precinct. Ooh. Let's see here. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Sure. What's up, Matt? Just waiting for you. Found another girl. Where? Same place, the park. Oh, no. Another girl, huh? Is she pretty? Does she have a friend? She's dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, I ran into the prop wall. I hope they don't pick up the pace too much. This movie's relentless. Hey, the car turned from a Ford into a Plymouth. That'll happen. It was just down the street. They could have walked. Fine, this is a great spot. There's nobody here. Excuse me, miss. This is our camping spot. Yeah, wind song. I'd know it anywhere. Wow, not talking, eh? Luckily, she didn't roll all the way into the water, so they can play her from here. Ooh. Just like the other. Dead. Pretty kid, too. Doesn't look much like a kid now. Hmm. Maybe she grew up during that moment of truth. Zing. She died. Same M.O. Killed the same way. That's same everything. Ah. With one great difference. What's that? Her name will be different. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you a 50 to 1. This girl will connect with that smut picture racket, too. Hey, I'll no take bad. some of that. Say, this park's filling up fast. You better get something to cover up before the crowd gets here. Yeah. Uh, Klein, don't touch that. What? Don't take off your clothes. Klein, what are you doing? <laughs> huh? The girl in the blonde on the end changed with the middle girl. Oh, man, Scavolo's tough to work with. <laughs> It's bizarre with John Biner. <laughs> Only better. Bring in that light push over here. And you call, bring the other light. <laughs> Fine, you remain where you are. He's the kindly old pornographer. Kindly old pornographer. <laughs> Behind the scenes at Easy Rider Magazine. <laughs> Not that I know. This is Edward R. Murrow, person to person with Irving Claw. Polito's ready to go in the bullpen. <laughs> I don't like the direction the New Yorker's taking under Tina Brown. Hi, Johnny. I salute you with my cigarette. <laughs> you girls take a rest for a minute. <sighs> ah, hey, Hank. Rough one today, huh? Yeah, no kidding, Steve. Ah, my boobs hurt. Yeah, you've been working out lately. You look good. Thanks. Well, it's because you don't have the right body. I'll tell you, I think I can finish this up in a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Then I can load the stuff and get out of here by tonight. She's a human being in a short chair. Notice, but that's the way she wants it, Jaffe. And she's the boss. Yep. I understand. Get a couple of boys to load it on the truck just as soon as I finish this shot here. How much film do you suppose is in there? It's a film? It's about all of the product she's got. A lot of film. Gloria's got big yep. business. <laughs> yeah. I'll stand now. There. So she has. Well, you take care of that for me, Jaffe. See you later. Charlie Weaver, pornographer. Hey, Come on, I'm not paying you for sitting around. Uh, help me up, Steve. Good morning. Gigantress. You could take over here. Like you were. One day he went to a pornographer's convention. He found out some of them were making women undress. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the hottest petticoat junction ever. Girls oh. of the East Block. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Jaffe. Bring me my chair. He's the best chair guy in the business. Mm. They call this the Triple E Varden. There we are, everybody. This is the race. <laughs> Stolen Oriental art. Grab it, Hal. You're going to be in my film. Is that okay? Huh, they're raiding these guys. Think of the arrest they could make at the beach. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hit a wormhole there. Oh. <laughs> must have been tipped. Well, if we were, it was a good one. We thought Johnny Wright would be here. Johnny who? No, stall us, Buster. Oh? I don't know any Johnny Wright. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Jaffe? 
You know me, Lieutenant Carson. I wouldn't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Not unless you thought you'd get away with it. Who is this Johnny Ryan? <laughs> oh, skip it. Give me the keys to the storeroom. What storeroom? All right, boys, break down the door. Oh, no, no, no. It's not in there. It's That's over scared, here. Huh? here. Here's the key. This is kind of a stretch for him, because usually he plays L. All right, take him off the wagon. Good thing she's bringing her sheer cover up. Aunt Nora. How about that? Mm. Boy, it looks like we hit the jackpot this time. Edward looks great in pantyhose. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's Eric von Stroheim's breed. <laughs> Ah. Huh. Hear this. Edward agonized over this scene. Wow. Huh? And now we are. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. This is why Edward gets final cut. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's tallying up last night's scattergory scores. <laughs> I know I won, damn it. Smut. That's what I love. Rotten smut. Mm -hmm. You were expecting dancing girls, Inspector? This is no laughing matter. No. Oh. I'm sorry, it wasn't bad taste. But I want action on this thing, and I want it quick. I've got my whole department working around the clock. Well, just Klein. You have more help to call on. I announced in the early papers I'm making more men available to you. Now, Matt, the smut picture racket has got to be stopped. And the murders caused directly by this still has to be stopped. Now, oh, you want smut? I'll show you smut. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 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 Whoa. 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 What was that? What the heck is that? <laughs> well, Hoppa, some sort of an explosion. Well, Doesn't seem to be much damage, though. Oh, uh, looks like a bomb was sent up the umbilicus. Uh, oh. You don't think that... Ah. Since when did we get a payphone? Oh, you know, I had that put in. There have been a lot of personal calls lately. I'm not naming any names. Shut your pie hole, Crow. We've got bigger things to worry about. Hello? Hello, Nelson. Did I catch you at a bad time? I've heard about your explosive temper. <laughs> Did you get the little present I sent up? It's just a little preview of what I'm going to do to D-13. Frank, <coughs> you stop your terrorist activities right now. Tisk tisk, Nelson. That's not how the game is played. You forgot it is I who make the rules. You know, Nelson, you and I are quite alike, really. Oh, Frank, would you put Dr. Forrester on, please? Dr. Forrester? Oh, he can't come to the phone right now. He's a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> now, now, behave, doctor. <laughs> I must say, Forrester, you really are quite the piece of work. <laughs> Frank, if you don't cut it out, I'm going to kill you. No, Dr. Forrester, it is you who are going to kill me. <laughs> you're stuck here. Frank, you're going to blow up Deep 13, aren't you? <laughs> Could I use the phone for just a sec? <laughs> Dr. Forrester, I must say you are a worthy adversary. Here, take the phone. Have a nice chat. Then... You will die. Oh, thank you. Mike, Crow, Servo, how are you doing? Uh, well, we're, we're fine, Dr. Forrester. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Fine. Uh, say, uh, could you do me just the teensiest little favor? Uh, sh sure, what is it? Help! Wow. <sighs> well, huh, what about that, huh? Dr. Huh. Forrester's asking for our help. Huh. Well, if Frank goes through with his plan, that means no more mad scientists. <gasps> Which means no more evil experiments. Which means no more Deep 13. Which means no way can we ever, ever get down to Earth. Which eventually means no more satellite of love. Which <laughs> means no more... Uh... <coughs> uh, we've got to help Dr. Forrester save Deep 13. Uh, uh, uh. Six men have three hours. You don't believe me. What are you doing up here? Who else is going to do it? You? 
to board and rescue Flight 343 five miles above the Earth because on March 15th, it's coming down. Do you have your orders? Execute them. One way or another, Kurt Russell and Steven Seagal. We're not going to make it. You are. Executive Decision, rated R. Starts Friday, March 15th at a theater near you. collection. Isn't it beautiful? Women find me attractive. And number 25, children are our future. Get two life vests free when you buy before March 31st. Like all Americans, I like big things. Big prairies. Big forests and mountains. AT&T True Reach Savings saves you 25% on all types of U.S. calls, even faxes and modems, on your AT&T phone bill when you spend $25 a month. I'm by coastal Information San Francisco. I'm still... Ooh. Nice. Don't say Modem man. Savings on all kinds of calls. That's your true choice. AT&T. Oh, 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 trouble, huh? Ah, yeah. he's right. This oh. thing is dragging out. This movie, anyway. Well, so what have we really got? Let's rest for a while. Uh, just about every foot of film they had. Yeah, we're no closer to Glory Henderson, Johnny Ryden, we were this morning. Well, yeah, Look, Glory. Inspector wants action. <laughs> Let's bring this Glory Henderson in. We know she's the one that's behind this smut picture racket. Knowing it and proving it are two different things. All right, we also know Jake Peets has joined as one of the smut picture passers. Oh, Why don't I slap her read on that joint and close it up? Oh, Jake, it's just another little splatter of mud in the big operation. It's a raid! We <gasps> traced the second murdered girl. She was one of his waitresses. That proves nothing except he was there. <laughs> Gotta have real cause to bring him in. Something that'll put him away for a long time and lead us to the more important higher up. You know what Clawson said? Oh, Clawson said a lot of things. Yeah. You've got to admit he's the best informer we've had on this thing. Yeah, and I think he's working for them, too. Hiding behind us? Sure, he informs on them, thinking we'll look the other way. Um, don't we? But he put us onto that raid this morning. Yeah. Leads me to believe he has a grudge against him. Deep, 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 deep. Telegraph. Deep, 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 deep. Telegraph. Deep, deep, deep. Telegraph. Deep, deep, deep. Telegraph. 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 Telegra
is a few girly pictures that never hurt anyone. <laughs> never hurt anyone? For your information, Mr. Taxpayer, the dirty picture racket can be directly connected to a good percentage of the major crimes in this city. Just how? Well, very indirectly. He's a psychiatrist to explain it to you. But I can tell you that we have three murders on our hands. Three young girls who posed for such pictures. Found in the park. Tortured. Mutilated. Ooh. Murdered. Here. Uh, here's murdered. Here's tortured. Where's mutilated? There it is. Glad I didn't have to get up for this. Some characters will steal or kill just to get their stuff. It's worse than dope for them. Taxpayer, the smut picture racket is worse than kidnapping or dope peddling. And no, it isn't. The same place <laughs> somebody, the more. Show me a crime, and I can show you a picture that could have caused it. Mm -hmm. Have I made myself clear? It's a vague connection, I admit. But... Do you have a daughter, Mr. Romain? Would she be interested in the smut picture racket? Uh... Mm. Mm. Would you like to choose a different category, sir? Mm. Daughter. Uh, daughter. Uh, is the daughter the thing with the wheel and the... Oh, no, forget it. I'm thinking of a bike. Uh, let me call my wife. Daughter, you say? Hmm? Daughter. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. I have two daughters. And a puppy. I think they're daughters. Hope I'm thinking of the right thing. Now, let me get back to you on that. We wanted to know if I had a daughter. Can you believe... Life so dear or peace so sweet. There, gone. Ah, the glossary of porno. <laughs> ah, the rainy day fun book of cod pieces. It's the big smiling car. <laughs> car smiled more back then. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Jet Jaguar. Hey, it is. <laughs> How would you know? Hey, he's the neighborhood porn representative. It's not locked. And neither am I. Ooh. It's Jaime. Honey, you're letting the flies out. Laugh, it's funny. <laughs> wow, she's a scary aunt. Ooh. Well, what's happened now? I sat down. The police raided Jaffe's studio. <laughs> not again. Yeah. They picked up Lila, Sally, Carol, Jaffe, the whole crowd. Who took them? Our old friend, Lieutenant Matt Carson. Oh, boy, something's going to have to be done about him. Did you call the lawyer? <laughs> Mike, I'm scared. Down to the jail. All right. Told him to find some clothes for the girls. They didn't have much on when they were picked up. How much bail this time? Prices are going up. 5000 apiece. So act now. Well, at least I get that back when they come up for trial. Now... How much of my film did the police take? Everything. <laughs> He's wearing a Femi jetpack. <laughs> How could they know everything I had was in Jaffe's storeroom? There has to be somebody on our side that's tipping them off. I suspect me. Well, Carson can't prove you or me into the Jaffe operation. Mm -hmm. He'll try hard enough. And if there is an informant in our organization, Carson may not have to try very hard. Now, what about Shirley? Jeez, he can shave with her voice. Dirk's already carried out your orders, just as he has the others. She won't be bothering you anymore. You met Teresa Russell? I was rather fond of Shirley. It's really too bad she had to learn so much about our mailing operations. And I won't stand for blackmail. Gloria. You're always on the run, though. Don't you think we're getting in a little too deep with this guy, Dirk? What makes you say that? My mouth. That knife of his. <laughs> he enjoys using it too much. Yeah. Someday he's going to get sloppy. He'd crack wide open if Carson never picked him up. I've got a tremendous business here, and it's growing bigger every month. Now nobody's yeah, going to get sloppy. Right. And don't you fret about Dirk. He'll be useful to us for a while anyway. What do I do about tomorrow's delivery? What do you need? Oh, I'm going to think now. <laughs> mail orders are up in the thousands, mostly 8 and 16 millimeter movie stuff. There's nothing we can do about that for a few days. Now... What no. do you need for your local outlet? Yeah. At least 104 by 5. The high school outlet. The mm -hmm. high school crowd hasn't been very happy with our product lately. <laughs> you can't blame them. They want new material. Our stuff's been repeated too many times. We can't sell the same thing to the same old crowd forever. Mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot about porn. <laughs> so, let's make our school kids happy. We'll give them new things. That'll cost plenty. 
I'm going down to Moby Dick's. It's ladies' night. The syndicate has split. They're working for King Features Syndicate? So should I just wait here, or... Um... Hmm. Oh, no. What do I do with my arms? Oh, no. <laughs> and don't touch the booze! This actor's really using his wear. The late 50s and booze is there. It's a probably smutty Hummel up on the wall. Uh, cameras were off, right, Ed? That was a good crap. <laughs> She's cantilevered into that shirt. Who gets them? Janet. Tell Janet not to give any more on consignment. She's too far behind in her collection. Janet and her girls Hi. can take care of themselves. <laughs> They put the pressure on. Nobody will hold out. They'll collect. <laughs> they better. Let's drink a lot. Martin Tupper is a divorced guy looking and looking for a safe relationship. <laughs> With so many women, this stud's love life is out of control. He knows how to play it safe. Watch the Emmy Award winning Dream On, Monday through Thursday nights at 10. You go to pass a slow-moving motorist. The road ahead appears clear. Suddenly, the semi comes out of nowhere. Which would you rather have for your defense? Dual airbags. Or what's been called the best V6 engine in the world? How about both? The Maxima from Nissan. Every day, it's the same routine. He gets out of bed, he goes to the kitchen, pours himself a glass of juice, turns on the radio, and opens the newspaper. This wouldn't be so tragic, except it's not morning. It's the middle of the night. Over 50 million Americans suffer from not sleeping, and they don't believe there is anything they can do about it. But there is. They can see their doctor, they can get back to sleeping normally again. There are new ways to treat their problem and newer prescription medications that can help. How are you feeling? Okay. Just couldn't sleep again. Maybe we should see the doctor. Sleep. It doesn't have to be a dream. Want Playboy's exclusive double feature video free? You'll get twice the excitement with Playmates Hottest Hideaways video, starring over 40 gorgeous Playmates. Plus, you'll also get Playmates Private Nights video with dozens of the most beautiful women ever captured by Playboy. This double feature video is yours free, and it's not available in stores. Get both videos absolutely free with a paid subscription to the world's most exciting men's magazine. Call now, and you'll also get Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. This dazzling full-color pictorial features some of the sexiest images ever revealed by Playboy. This exclusive TV offer gives you 12 great issues of Playboy, month after exciting month at over 43% off the cover price. Call now and included in your subscription, you'll get the Playmate of the Year issue, the Pigskin Preview, the Gala Christmas issue, and the Playmate Review, all for just four low monthly payments of $8.74. Use your credit card for quicker delivery. Don't miss out. Call this toll-free number to get 12 exciting issues of Playboy, plus Playmate's Hottest Hideaways, Playmate's Private Nights, and Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. Hey, good queen porn fun. Beans come running for the good taste of porn. Hi, I'm running for porn queen. <laughs> this is like 150 teens in a town of 200. Mary McCarthy's The Group. <laughs> Later, somewhere near a chicken farm. Won't you take me to Shanty Town? Hey, it's Joe Keys. Joe Keys here. <laughs> Ed Wood mustered up all his incompetence for this movie. <laughs> We're here to shut down that guitar music. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. <laughs> Your prize will be right up, sir. Is he there? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah. Look, 
Bob Dylan to save the day. Just wanted to tell you we're out of toilet paper. No harm. Whew, that was not much of anything, really. Not at all. Mm. Well, wow. Hmm. That certainly sucked the air out of the room. <laughs> hey, they, they're in their sweaters backwards. Uh, I want to get a backward sweater, uh, the girl. <laughs> Fonzie, Ace of Spies. <laughs> uh, here's uh, ten bucks. Uh, don't mention the rat. Not a very good payoff this time, Jake. The house is get talking to me. Get some pictures and I'll sell all of them. I'll have some new pictures in a couple of days. Hmm. Good. I can't sell this stuff anyway. Weird. Why not? Yes, yeah. Are you kidding? Everybody from 7 to 70 has. Mm, good demographics. Mm. getting herself mocked off like she did in the park the other day. The cops have been swarming all over this place. <laughs> Why should I take a risk <laughs> like that for <laughs> stuff I can't even sell? Okay, keep them here and I'll pick them up later. I don't like it, oh. but all right. Ah. Well, I think Ed Wood has directed himself into a corner here. Mm -hmm. Well, you can see the string. Oh. I think these scenes are from a completely different movie. Maybe, but they work so Let's well finish here. it, Danny. <laughs> they quit hitting your hand. <laughs> Mandy Patanka, dress casual. Steve, you are firm. Thank you. Hey, one of these times I might actually hit you. Well, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah. You win. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with you. Well, all right. It's kind of a low-impact Donnybrook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Four Seasons are watching. <laughs> hey, ride the wild guy. 25 Ooh. cents. <laughs> His face really never came together. <laughs> huh? Raw power of a casual slap. And Ann Miller looks on. <laughs> well, this town really did need porn. We're trying to recreate the Burt Lancaster Debrick car thing, aren't we? Oh, okay. Breaks just like a little what? Mm -hmm. This looks like a job for Zimmerman. Woo! Well, this kid's finally cleared out. The light photographer's gone. I can use the phone now. Jeez. Operator. Give me the cops. Any cops. Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> That's a pretty lame fight. Don't bother coming over. Someone hit someone or we're going back to our porn. <laughs> Meanwhile, in yet another movie. Go east! The dam is broken! Morris choreographed. Wow, that is one huge hood ornament. Car gone, <laughs> take me away. I'll stand in my underpants. Pegasus. <laughs> ah, reduce, reuse, recycle. He's got a siren under his hat. I thought you wanted me in on this dirty picture deal with you. Ooh. I do. Then what's the idea of raiding Jake Pizza Joint? I had nothing to do with calling that raid. As far as I was concerned, the situation was to remain as I told you it would. Patrol car four answered a riot call. It turned out to be Jake's place. Mm. But it was all to our advantage. Yeah. We caught him mm. high and dry. Mm. He didn't have a chance to get rid of his pictures. Mm. We booked him with the goods this time. And I never had to leave my chair. <laughs> what caused the riot? Two outfits fitting for the same business. Mm. One feller on top of the other. They tried fighting it out. Yeah. See who'd be top dog, or should I say top rat. Did they get any of the cellar? No, they got lost in the crowd. There was a couple of dozen kids there at a jam session. But Jake will do time. Think he'll talk? Yeah, I'm good. The boys downstairs are working on that now. But Jake's a hard nut to crack. He knows what could happen. Delegation. <laughs> he knows that no matter how much time a judge gives him, it's better if he keeps his mouth closed. Talk, and they'd shut him up before he could verify any confession of the trial. Jake knows it, and so do we. Accessing. What about Foster? 
What about him? Suppose we find out what he knows. He may have something with that. Beat it out to his ice cream joint. Have a talk with him. But kill an hour or so first. Yeah, like we're doing. Give a little more time. If he hasn't already heard, I'll make sure he knows about Jake's arrest before you get there. That'll be good. An hour? I can arrange that. I haven't had lunch yet. No. How about joining him? Nah, too much paperwork to do. After we take Gloria and her boyfriend, we still have to find the men she works for. Mm -hmm. There's more? You don't think she supplies her own cash, do you? No. The syndicate. Who else? Huh. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, Randy. You're a fine girl. Send Klein in. Right. All right, we get to climb. climb. I love right. to... Ain't okay. no climb. Hey. I'm drinking. You see a sausage packed into that outfit. Hello. Oh, hi, bad woman. Yes, Johnny. Lawson again? I love their How pickles. How much did you held out? That much, huh? Hold on a minute. I'll see if I'm in. <laughs> Do I want to take a call? Oh, I suppose. Johnny, where are Janet and the girls? In church? Wow. Hmm? Don't tell me they're trying to peddle those pictures in church. That market's saturated. All right. Look, you get to Janet. Tell her that Clausen is her responsibility. I'll be one minute pornographer. She gets no more stuff until Clausen pays up. She'll collect when she hears that. She's Stephanie Hodges. Did you know they knocked over Jake's yeah, pizza I joint? I mean, ish. Yeah. You'd better check with him. Make sure he doesn't talk. Yeah. And then look. Ah, you get to well, Janet and the girls her. real, oh, real boy, quick. Let me tell you. Is there any way we could bring her along? There are more than 77 million parents in America today. 77 million moms and dads all doing the same thing, worrying about their kids. That's why you need Chevy Lumina, a car you can trust. Lumina offers an integrated child safety package. Few cars can offer your kids this protection, and no car in its class can offer it for the price of a Lumina. For 77 million of you, that's one less thing to worry about. That's genuine Chevrolet. This is more like it. Soon I'll be far away from anyone who's ever even heard of 10 cents a minute from Sprint. 10 cents a minute? One dime. A dime a minute is a wonderful deal. And it's good forever. It's as simple as that, simple as that, simple as that, to think. After all my work, I'll be remembered as the dime lady. But I'm not going to think about that. That's why I'm taking this little trip to Hawaii. Call now to get 10 cents a minute across the U.S. and now even to Canada. Well, what about some perfume? Nah. Lingerie? No. Why don't you go on a trip or something? No trips. This is the anniversary what? present question, right? Yeah. What if you came home with the same kind of flowers that you guys had at your wedding? <laughs> She'd like that. Flowers are a two-inch putt. You can't go wrong. I know flowers. You know, I'm a bee. Flowers are love's hole-in-one. You gotta think flowers. I'm gonna do it. Thanks, Buzz. Anytime, pal. Now that's a better decision than your club choice. It keeps millions of Americans glued to their TVs every night. It's not the game shows, reruns, or the news. It's because they suffer from not sleeping. And they believe there is nothing they can do about it. But there are new ways to treat their problem. And newer prescription medications that can help. Maybe we should see the doctor. Sleep. It doesn't have to be a dream. Take one shy postman, one brilliant poet, one beautiful woman. Put them together and you've got the one movie that won five Academy Award nominations, including Best Actor, Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Original Score, and Best Picture of the Year. Share the romance and see for yourself why The Postman is seducing critics and audiences the world over. The Postman, rated PG, now playing. Dr. Katz treats a broad range of patients. I went on an audition, and the guy says, uh, I start, he says, Slate, you know, say your name, you know, and then I start to talk and fool around. He goes, look, don't be shticky. With a broad range of problems. You know what that means to me? We hate the Jews. That's how I took that. Well, that's... that's don't your, be your... shticky Jew. 
Make your appointment to see Dr. Katz, Sundays at 10 p.m. Want to go online with Comedy Central? Here's the address, httpcomcentral.com. Log on to go behind the scenes, enter contests, download video, and lots more. So get down, dirty, and interactive at the only all-comedy website. Meet the family who put the funk in dysfunctional as they merrily cavort in polyester. Positively disgusting. And remember, to air is human, to forgive, divide. Watch the totally free movie, Polyester, Wednesday night at 8. It just doesn't make any sense, Mike. Well, I hear you. Just, you know, there's nothing in Frank's permanent record to suggest homicidal maniac. Yep, school records check out, too. Look at this. Uh, repeated third grade twice, uh, fourth grade same. Uh, Snow Days King. Hmm. Wow. Spelled Harriet Tubman High, 1974. After that, nada. Look, I think I got it handled. I got some contacts on the street. <laughs> uh -huh. You've got contacts on the street? <laughs> there's a lot about me you don't know. I guess. Anyway... Here's my main man, Huggy Bear. Hi, Crow. Hey, all right, Hug. What's the lowdown? Uh, pardon me? Don't play schoolgirl with me. I've got so much on you, I'll send you so far up the river you think you were a salmon. <laughs> oh, I got it. Too much heat coming down from the man. I see. Crow, that's Hug not Huggy Bear. I didn't say it was the Huggy Bear. I said it was a Huggy Bear. Oh, come a on, Crow. Now cut it out. Now Forrest's life is on the line. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm copacetic. That's why I've got my main man, Rooster. Hey, <laughs> Roos, hey. Uh, losing your touch, eh, Crow? Perhaps a nice traffic assignment would suit you better, mister. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd you get your desk job, Chunky? It didn't have anything to do with that speeding bus full of Cub Scouts, did it? I stopped that bus and I saved them kids. All except one. <gasps> the one you let drive. Well, he showed me his license. He was seven. I'm a good cop. Oh, I'm yeah. a good cop. Come, 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 on, on, come, on, come on, cut it out now. Yeah. You're both good cops. Yeah. Like, what am I saying? Neither one of you are good cops. Now, come on, snap out of it. We'll help Gypsy. And then we've got movie Oh, movie sign. You're great cops. That's fabulous. If you work, all chili dogs must use rear I'm entrance. I'm going to push that ice cream right down his throat. Me, Sherry Belafonte Harper. All Newman is Sherry Belafonte Harper. It's the Gil Evans malt shop. Wallace Shawn. The soft serve murders. <laughs> Ironically, it was a safety phone. <laughs> now they're going to crunch coat him. And the young Benavir Budo robs the malt shop. Bella Lugosi's brother, Shemp Lugosi. <laughs> Lieutenant Carson. Where are you, Randy? General receiving hospital, Matt. See? They just brought Clawson in. I have to keep him refrigerated, you know. Uh, somebody beat him up pretty bad. Looks like that grudge I mentioned is paying off. Clawson was able to say who did it. Uh, he passed out as soon as he called for assistance. <laughs> I got the call on my radio and hurried right over here. Yes, I'm drunk. Uh, Why? Doctor says he won't be able to talk till morning. It's no. him. You want me to wait it out here? No, put somebody else on and come on back here. Oh, yeah, that was a fun picnic. <laughs> Let's watch Ghost Dad again. Not that it matters very much, but uh, what are you calling this one? Lover's Lane. Or Forest Hump. I picked up the negative when they raided Jackie's studio, but I had this print in my car. Why did you use Janet and Dick? Both wanted some extra money. Oh, I put him to work for it. You know what happens to Dirk when he looks at pictures like this? I have been able to handle him so far. Sure, when he's within your reach. He gives me the creeps. So he gives you the him. creeps? Wow. Only when I tell him what to do, how to do it, and where it will be done. Uh, what time's your synchronized swim meet? <laughs> Let's go get you some pants. Okay. Tell them we'll have the new pictures, all right. Hey. But maybe not the salespeople. Stop I handle. that with a glass. How oh, so? The cops knocking over Jaffe and Jake is making it tough for everybody. I'm speaking directly to your brain. Low. The boys will be hungry in a day or two. Now, let's see those other films you have. Oh, that was a long time coming. What are your plans for tonight? Taking that place to the theater? Why, I'd Can love to. You want me to? Yeah, I've been at it three nights, and that coach is getting to me. 
Uh, Neil, uh, 15 years, I've broken lots of dates. One more won't matter. You take off. I'll send it out here. I wouldn't ask you to do this, Randy, but I'm beat. He's a beat I want a night watch on this before Boston comes <laughs> around. Really? Sure. Go on home, surprise Kathy. She probably doesn't even remember what you look like. <laughs> now, Kathy's trying on a bathing suit and saying, Anything comes ah. around this, call me. I will. Don't look at my porn. Good night. Good night, man. Enjoy the hoary netherworld out there. Now, i got to see if my agent came through with that Larry Tate audition. Yes, Stephen. No, oh, Stephen. This one's called A Few Nude Men. <laughs> I'm still big. It's the dinkies that got small. And replace the distributor cap immediately. <laughs> okay, let's play I'm the teacher and you're the AV geek. I look at this slush and try to remember the time in September. At one time, I made good movies. Like Bikini Car Wash. You're making more money now than you ever made in your life. Who needs good film in this business anyway? Oh, give those suckers hot advertising? <laughs> and they'll spring with their money every time. Ah, Ticketmaster, the early no years. Oh, we've had trouble with checks. I figure the foreign movies, being as good as they are, we should make a few more changes. Maybe try a more wooden delivery. Okay. <laughs> you are the director. Get some new girls. <laughs> Find some new angles. Consider editing. But the amount spent for each reel stays the same. I can't work under these budget constraints. Oh, boss. Just you remember that. Ooh. Sure. Now, yeah. get out of here and go to work. Ooh. And get some straight pictures that we can send through the mails as samples. Mm -hmm. You know, a hold-up yeah. or something with the girls with their clothes on. Mm -hmm. Then get busy on that hot footage. And brother, I mean hot. I got shots of monks on fire. Now, go to work. Well, this isn't hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hot, but not, I mean, hot. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, I'm so Fine. Look at him. This is Carson. Ring my phone. Send up breakfast for two and champagne. Mother, I'm sorry, Mother. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, me up. <laughs> I'm an imp. Funny, funny. When middle aged people horse around. Boss is still out. That figures. His head would have to be soft to peddle that kind of garbage. Yeah, but I kid the pornography. No matter. I look at these. And I look at these. And I look at these. And I... <laughs> Beautiful girl. That's what's inside me. You might have made this legitimately. Well, maybe not. Dad, get yourself mixed up in this dirty, filthy racket. Glamour shots. Well, the people we're after are running a rotten business. Isn't only our problem. Every city, big and small, throughout the country has it. Walmart. It's the responsibility of every department to clean up its own area. And that's wow. exactly what we're going to do. I'm glad we're back at the desk. That happens every week. I make a dull speech. Our files are full of Mary Smith and Jane Doe's. And Tracy Lords and they Mary Pamela. They come from everywhere USA to star in the movie. I'm from there. You know Bob? Somewhere right now, Mary Smith is graduating. Head of her class. She was great in the school play. Slammer girl. And now her starry eyes are looking to the far horizon. Hollywood. Hundreds of young girls, 35 cars of young girls, packed in ice and shipped from the Columbia Valley. Oh. The train doesn't go to Hollywood, it goes to Mount Prospect. Oh, no. No casting. Foundry workers are devastated by the news. <laughs> How many times did you play A to Annie? The guidance counselor is steering her towards Smut. They're very nice, but... Look, after visiting all the casting offices day after day and getting nowhere, I thought I'd better find a motion picture agent that would sign me up and get me started. Fine, I'll call Zanuck. I'll get you a three-picture deal. I must be brutally frank with you. Jesus told me he hates you. A high school play doesn't constitute a finished actress. Or, in most cases, even the starting of one. Well, let me be the first to offer you sex. As much as I'd like to. I can't act either. It's impossible for me to sign you up. 
Let me restate how much I hate you. You get to keep the folder. On location with regarding Heine. Okay, cut it, Jaffe. <laughs> Come on back, girls. I didn't mean it. Can I wrap her up? Oh, just a second. I want to check something here. Um, Emma, look, they're nude over there. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Why, it's Big Ethel. <laughs> I'd like to try out for porn. Boy, she sure looks good to me. You can say that again. Mm-hmm. Hey, why don't you sign her up? We will all do just that. You know, Gloria said she wanted some new faces. That's a pretty nice looking face at that. Boy, you said it. Credle and Ray Sr. Hey, Billy, come over here, will you? You know, the old guy, real life, couldn't separate sex and death. Mm. Oh, man. Like father, like son. Think about it, won't you? Hello, I'm Dr. Clayton Forrester of Mystery Science Theater 3000. And this is my mother. Hello. This week, my experiment will Tell be... Tell them what the movie I'm is. telling them, Clayton. dear, it's the experiment starring Ron Nohatton, The Brute they Man. They just want to know what the plus, movie is. I just told them, Mother. It's, uh, plus, there's a short as well. Please don't tell. Chicken, chicken of Tomorrow. Chicken of Tomorrow. Is that what we're having? Watch Mystery Science Theater 3000, Saturday at 5 p.m. A sparkling ship on crystal waters is coming. Absolutely gorgeous. It was so much fun. The perfect lobster is coming. Our waiters, they would do anything for us. Any time. Perfection is coming. A gift from the captain. Memories are coming. Three or four days in Royal Caribbean's Bahamas are coming. You've got some Royal Caribbean coming. Now, don't ask me why, but Sharon wants to meet you. So once she gets here, just say hello, act normal, then we're out of here. I can't believe our little Billy has a girlfriend. Okay, first rule, my name is Bill, and I'm not little. Bill? You're not going to wear that. What? What's with that hair? What? Why is he in a suit? Uh-huh. Why did I agree to this? Hi, Sharon, this is my family. Let's go. Hey, wait, we're just going to McDonald's. Maybe they'd like to come with us. McDonald's? Yeah, that's okay with you, Bill. <laughs> The jobs of tomorrow are here, thousands of them, waiting to be filled. But you have to know the fields they're in, and you have to have what it takes to master those fields. Because you can't get the jobs of tomorrow until you get the skills of today. Start by calling ITT Technical Institute for an informative brochure. Call 1-800-741-5307. 1-800-741-5307. Call now. Introducing the second seasons at Virginia Beach. It's got everything you come to Virginia Beach for in the summer. The sun, the sand, the fishing, the museums, the seafood. Only one thing's missing. All those other people. The second seasons at Virginia Beach. Call for more information. Pardon me. I'm John Ride. Motion picture director. I couldn't help noticing you have no future in movies. Thus, Merchant Ivory is born. There goes a master to work. Boy, can he pick him. Well, I love to photograph this one. Yes, sir. Hey, Jaffe. Yeah. You've lost your accent. But I'm not directing now. Oh. Oh, such a searing indictment of Hollywood. Mm. Come in. Welcome to Consleesco. The young lady you were expecting is here to see you, Mr. Wright. Send her right in. Send her breasts right in, too. Ah, there they are. I hope I'm not late, Mr. Wright. Of course not, my dear. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Drink? No, thank you. Phone? Smoke? I don't smoke, but but if smoking is important to the part, I'm sure I can learn. The part? Oh, yes, the part in our next production. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Yes. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yes, I think you'll do nicely. You mean I get the part? Why not? You don't know how much this means to me. I'll work ever so hard. Uh-huh. I'll do a great job in your picture. Not like now. I'm sure you will. <laughs> However, there are several things to be done first. Do you have any money? Well, I... Dot, dot, dot. No, no, my dear. There's no need for embarrassment. Yep. I, I was looking for a job. Anything to tide me over when you discovered me yesterday. Plus, I'm dumb. And I couldn't write home and ask for help. 
I wouldn't want them to know what a failure I've been. They run a successful porn shop. That's the trouble with you young girls. You come out here with little or no money and expect to be discovered at the first drop of a hat. You're one of the lucky ones. Is this a talk show? They seem to have found you in time and saw this great talent of yours. I'm so happy, Mr. Ride. Of course you are. But as I said, there are several things we must do first. Now my next guess is... is... A new hairstyling. Learn to walk and talk correctly. Buy bonds where you work or bank. I don't like the way you make up your lips. Well, I don't like the way you make up Our your lips. Our department will take care of that. These things will cost a lot of money. But I told you I don't... Have any money? <laughs> where do you live? Good, good. In a boarding house on... Mm, that'll never do. Uh, we must change that immediately. You'll move in with Warren Bates. Have an automobile? No. <clears throat> Get one. Here. Don't just like warning. Taking it. I'll get it all back when we make our first picture. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, yes, don't you try. do. There's always more where that came from. Be seen in all the right places. Wear the right clothes, even at home. This is weird, sir. And when you need more money or advice, feel free to call on me. Do you ever need a sentence completed? I will. Shouldn't I start learning a script? All in good time. Now, we have a lot to do. Really? I'll go with you so you have no trouble uh, cashing that check. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, they know me down at Cash Stop. Are gangster and horror pictures all you produce? Oh, she's picky now. <laughs> Those are made by friends of mine. I think you'll find my type of picture entirely different. Well, I hope the rats can take care of themselves. She lives in a fire department training building. Should I bring my kids with me? No, nah, I'm going to be a big star. Who needs them? Film it all, Ed. Yep. Ah, the crow's nest. <laughs> Smart, how can we help you? John Ride. Why, yes, hello, Mary. How are you? Fine, thanks, my dear. You know, the porn industry seems laid back and inviting. Did you get that breast? In Mr. Wood's size? Mm -hmm. What? A spot. On the Dinosaur Chevy show? Why, don't be embarrassed. What is it? Feel free to talk to me. What, 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 what's on your mind? I'm really acting now. Come on. A check? Why, of course, there'll always be another check here for you. Drop by any time. Ah. Yes. You're perfectly welcome. Bye-bye. How is that, Ed? Okay? <laughs> so he says, for a nickel, I will. Uh. <laughs> anyway, well. Mm, well, Mary, looks like you owe us $14 million. <laughs> Oranges are pretty. Mm -hmm. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> There's a lot of places I haven't been. <laughs> and a lot of things I haven't seen. Sure, sure. <laughs> Don't you worry about a thing. No. There's plenty more where that came from. Oh, by the way, Miss Henderson, the big boss, thinks you're about ready. You'll meet her here in my office at 10, Wednesday. Let's just wait. Okay? 10, Wednesday. Come the in. technique here is to focus on the desk and just let the rest happen. Pardon me, Miss Henderson. It's all right. Mr. Ride, the young lady is here for her appointment. Let her in. Is that a really tiny pair of antlers above the lamp? Thank you, Gloria. Now our next guest is a naive actress from Podunk. Won't you welcome her? Am I on time? Of course. Miss Henderson, this is the young lady I've been telling you about. Names at this stage are unimportant. What? Names are your department anyway. Now, would you get in front of the desk and face the window? I memorized that thing from Hamlet. Now, let's see those legs. These legs? Oh, brother. What's with her? I haven't told her yet. Well, tell her and make it snappy. I haven't got all day. Well, have I done something wrong? I wouldn't want anything to ruin this task you've given me. No, no, it's just that Miss Henderson has a part in mind for you in her next production that deals with an extremely sexy type of girl. Honey, know. she hasn't got it. Why waste time? What kind of a director do I have anyway? I thought you could... Give me a chance. Let me try. At least let me read the part for you. Read the part? Oh, brother. What do you got to lose, Miss Henderson? Give the kid a break. All right. You get your chance to act. Oh, Thank you. Now, when I say let's see those legs, honey, I mean just that. Let's see those legs from your toes right up to your hat. But they stop before but I don't that. Understand? Is that it? You don't understand. Well, ma'am, ma'am. Over your ass, Curly. I'm coming in. Easy. You know what these are? 
It was all my money. Every dollar. Every dollar was mine. Oh, <laughs> kid, you're on the hook to me for plenty. How do you what? think you're going to pay all that money back to me? You see the signatures on the back of these? Oh, no, actually, I didn't but, get a good look. But Mr. Right. Wright said he would take it back for my salary when I do films for your company. Right. You're to do films for me. Unless, of course, you prefer that I contact your father. Mm -hmm. Perhaps that would be the best way. You wouldn't. Oh, no? Try me. But that never works new. But I do want to make movies for you. Of course you do. No, no, honey, don't worry. You'll, you'll make a lot more money this way. Where, friends? Come on. Now, <laughs> let's see those legs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's kind of a sleazy element to this. Isn't it? Why is all that? You know, they're casting for with six, you get egg roll. So no. why? Thank you. Oh, well, there's her hat. Well, I wondered. So they put her in more clothes than she's ever had on in her life. <laughs> oh, must be an intern. Nothing to do. <laughs> Stand perfectly still. This is a movie. <laughs> now, my dear, you must just look as beautiful as you can. Hmm? Just as you are. See? Son, please take out the ladder. Okay, you're George Washington. Oh, the Queen Mother could heat up a room more than this. I've seen sexier girdle ads. Yeah. Columbia Pictures logo. I could not believe it. It was really fun. That psychic was amazing. Every day, thousands of people just like you call the Psychic Solution. I'm Nadine Lewis, and today we're going to show you why. Would you like to try a free psychic reading? Sure, I'll give it a shot. I could use some answers. Why not? How can I lose? It's free. The Psychic Solution challenged us to test their psychics and see just how real they are. So we asked people on the street to try a free sample psychic reading. Tell us what happened. Well, somehow she knew I was thinking about changing jobs, and she sensed my anxiety. Then she described what I wanted and said it was just around the corner. I've never spoken to a real psychic before. Now I know why everyone's calling the psychic solution. It was wild. As soon as I get home, I'm calling my psychic again. I just got dumped, but the psychic had me call her, and guess what? My girl wants to get together again just like the psychic said she would. There's the proof. So do something for yourself. Make the free call and get your free psychic reading now. Call 1-800-391-9877. The final chapter has been written, but the adventure isn't over. With Star Trek The Next Generation, the collector's edition on video cassette. Again. Start your video collection where it all began with the classic two-hour series premiere and counter at Farpoint for four ninety-five. Yes. This Farpoint station will be an excellent test. Every scene, every episode is a masterpiece of science fiction. And Star Trek The Next Generation, the collector's edition, includes episodes you won't find anywhere else. There is no minimum to buy. There is no commitment. This is a journey only you can decide to continue. To get your introductory video of Star Trek The Next Generation, the collector's edition, for only $4.95, have your credit card ready and call toll-free. 1-800-447-8000. The jobs of tomorrow are here, thousands of them, waiting to be filled. But you have to know the fields they're in, and you have to have what it takes to master those fields. Because you can't get the jobs of tomorrow until you get the skills of today. Start by calling ITT Technical Institute for an informative brochure. Call 1-800-741-5307. 1-800-741-5307. Call 741 now. I forgot. I must turn on the fan. Would you please turn on the fan, Hans? And you, hold the hand, beautiful soul. Hold the fan. Ah, that is good. I am Diana. <laughs> Live from the Pantages Theater in beautiful... Johnny, <laughs> you sure can pick them. This is the best one yet. You're filming your I shirts. You're going to see a lot more of her. Next film, we may show her elbow. Ooh. Meanwhile, Bobby Rydell goes undercover. Okay, Mr. Red, I know you're here somewhere. Run, 
break into my house or I could use the key. Gotta dance. So great. The one time he peeps, she's wearing her most demure outfit. Ah, crap. I gotta get another carton for tomorrow. <laughs> a coffee table purchased with the souls of young girls. Nice. It's about eight, I think. Well, I'll have to buy more knickknacks. <laughs> Let yourself in if you'd like. I'll have some food out. This guy likes to break in and just relax. Mm. It's such a great room. A good space. Very inviting. Ego. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she hit my Easter basket early. <laughs> He's looking for love in all the wrong places. Oh, portal to another dimension there on the wall. Where did she hide that frozen gladiator? Huh? Is it under that? Just find the script, I'd know what I was doing. I'm the bladder, Peter. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Boggle. This smut was placed here by the Gideons. Hmm. That Kenny Rogers sure can't take a picture. He's got split top butter top hair. Mm -hmm. butter. Come on, fellow. I'll cut you. I'll cut you. I will. <laughs> and he's got the healthiest relationship so far. <laughs> I suppose. Say the secret word and get killed by a psycho. <laughs> Hey, lady, what gives? This is pocket lint. I can't eat gluten. There's tropical oil in this. I can taste it. Hey, Ducky, I'm a porn queen. Yes, I am. Who cares? This is actually the hottest scene so far. Thank you. Sorry about all the little duck piles there, lady. What are you going to do? C, insert knife A into girl B. That's all it works. Just put it on my bill. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, look out. Duck! Oh. <laughs> Are the ducks working with this guy or what? <laughs> Didn't see a thing. <laughs> this will put the crappies down for a while. Relax, relax. Just float. Don't fight the water. Oh, typical. Now those ducks are nowhere to be seen. She just decided she's dead. Well, Randy, they found another one in the park. We got a duck giving a statement in the next room. Match up with any pictures we have? Nothing we had on file. They just pushed their desks together. There she is. <laughs> New picture. Looks like Gloria Henderson's at it again. Yeah. You got any wallet size of these? <laughs> Anything on this killing? We know who did it. We do? A killer. <laughs> Made a big mistake this time. Our boy left his fingerprints on the pictures. Who's are they? Dirk Williams. Dirk? That's one of Glory Henderson's men. Oh, yeah. Well, let's pick him up. Well, we got an APB on him right now, but uh, tougher than we figured. How so? No place of residence on the guy. Oh, that is tough. Maybe he'll just drop by here. And if we don't get that guy, there's going to be another killing in that park before you can turn around. Maybe we should just let it run its course. Hey, hey there's a new Italian place. Are you hungry? Why don't we put a police woman in that park for a couple of days? Might turn up something. Pepper, I'm putting you on the case. That's using your head, Randy. Only it won't be a police woman. It'll be a police man. Well, look, that character's not going to show himself for a man. Don't be too sure. Oh, now, look, man. What'd you have for coffee this morning? Casey, masterpiece sauce. A police woman would be in extreme danger all the time she's out there. I wouldn't put a woman in that position. That killer's a madman. Now, that's a little harsh. Yeah, I guess you're right there. Well, what would Klein do? What can we do? Sitting here is always good. <laughs> we'll put a sweater and skirt on a policeman. Oh, like at your house. <laughs> I did it before. Remember, he caught that lover's lane killer. He's got a cute shape. Just might work. It's a chance. And it'll be damn good fun. good to me. You know, right now, it's our only chance. Heck, let's all dress up. <laughs> I wonder what she's got on this time. I'm guessing a tube top. Let's take you back to the village, 63, the Edward Sessions. Edward dresses up as Marion McParkland and brings down the house. Ba-bow! What? 
sitting there. Oh, she's in. been to prom. Oh, <laughs> uh, honey, there's no meter. Another Charlie Sheen fantasy session. She's been out canvassing for clean water action. Sit down, Miss Anderson. We're from the Syndicate. Gee, it sounds like autumn in New Hampshire. Sitting on bubble wrap. You know why we're here. One of your boys has gone too far. Which one? I didn't mean for you to read the paper. Yeah. Michael Medved panned Lickety Lovelies. Read it yourself. Board to city. Drop dead. Oh, it's an editorial. They're calling for another sex maniac murder. I didn't order that. You didn't? Slim Whitman. Then why did it happen? Dirk got out of control. It won't happen again. You're to get rid of it. All right. I'll talk to him. I'll send him away until this thing cools off. You don't understand. You've got to get rid of him permanently. Uh, permanently? Oh, I said that. Syndicate <laughs> has big money invested in your business. We take no chances. Oh, sir. Do I make myself clear? Really rotten one, buddy. <laughs> I know what must be done. Well, we're going to go make out on the patio. We'll see we thought you would, Miss Henderson. Well, they climb over the fence and run down the alley. That went well. Thought you seemed real nice. You have 20 seconds to answer. Oh, the mafia's playing in the pool, and she's got to watch him. Come in. How inviting. This whole operation could use a weekend retreat. Mm -hmm. Are you in a good mood? Have you seen that? There's a gay character, and for better or worse. Headlines in every paper. I thought you could handle that idiot. Sure, when I can see him. Oh, what's with that creep? <laughs> You know what happens when he looks at certain kinds of pictures? <laughs> Undoubtedly, he got hold of some, and that was that. Only that variety. is that. Well, then so what, what is happened? that? I had visitors a little while ago. The big shop. The organization? Yes. Mm. About Dirk? About Dirk. So? So, Dirk is dangerous. The orders are he has to go. <laughs> that figures. But how? You be the big brains in that department. But mm. Dirk has to be taken care of before the cops pick him up. Oh, the first time they put those lights on him, he'll crack wide open about everything. And that includes you and me. I figured that moron was going to cause trouble. Sorry, forgot my line. Okay, leave it to me. Do you have a plan? Sure. I'll send him out of state right. with the shipment. The big shots meant he has to be put out of the way permanently. It'll be permanent. Ah, you talking riddle. <laughs> He's got to figure out a way to stop Frank, but how? Yeah, that's the $64. Wait! I've got an idea. A door-to-door -door search. Gypsy, can you give me a schematic of the whole city? You want the suburbs, too? All the way to the sticks. I want to see barns and cows and roosters. There goes my vacation! Thanks, dollface. Get out of here, you lug! All right, all right, all right, hold everything. <laughs> I got the report back from the lab, and guess whose fingerprints are all over the ransom note? Huh? Uh, huh? Probably Frank, since he signed it. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is a dead end, a blank wall, an empty check. It's no piece of cake, that's for sure. No, Wait, no hold it, did you say that again? I said, it's no piece of cake. Uh, potato sure. cakes, that's oh. it. Potato cakes? Huh? Remind me to buy you a new hat next payday, sweetheart. But first, wow. I've got a very important phone call to make. Get a new hat. That's a dial one. One. Yellow. Keep 13. How can I help you? Oh, Clay, thank goodness you're there. Listen, I've got the answer. Potato cakes. Potato cakes? Well, those are tasty. I prefer curly fries. They have no, sort they're of not for you, Clay. They're for Frank. Well, that's very thoughtful, Mike. I don't have to tell you, I'm just the teensiest bit peeved at our young Frank right now. No, no, don't you see? Frank loves potato cakes. 
get some and use them to lure him away from the dynamite. <laughs> Delightfully devious. I wonder why I didn't think of that. Frank, I'm stepping out, okay? You okay. Want Playboy's exclusive double feature video free? You'll get twice the excitement with Playmates Hottest Hideaways video, starring over 40 gorgeous Playmates. Plus, you'll also get Playmates Private Nights video with dozens of the most beautiful women ever captured by Playboy. This double feature video is yours free, and it's not available in stores. Get both videos absolutely free with a paid subscription to the world's most exciting men's magazine. Call now, and you'll also get Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. This dazzling full-color pictorial features some of the sexiest images ever revealed by Playboy. This exclusive TV offer gives you 12 great issues of Playboy, month after exciting month at over 43% off the cover price. Call now and include it in your subscription, you'll get the Playmate of the Year issue, the Pigskin Preview, the Gala Christmas issue, and the Playmate Review, all for just four low monthly payments of $8.74. Use your credit card for quicker delivery. Don't miss out. Call this toll-free number to get 12 exciting issues of Playboy, plus Playmate's Hottest Hideaways, Playmate's Private Nights, and Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. Martin Tupper is a divorced guy looking and looking and looking for a safe relationship. With so many women, this stud's love life is literally out of control. The complications of having too many partners can be plenty of trouble. And with a list of ladies close to keep in mind, Martin gets into a bunch of it. But he knows how to play it safe. Watch the Emmy Award winning Dream On, Monday through Thursday night at 10. I hear on Comedy Central. If you haven't already checked out Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, you're missing out on a lot of laughs. And if you haven't been in our studio audience, you're missing out on even more. For tickets to Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, just call 213-852-2655. Meet the family who put the funk in dysfunctional as they merrily cavort in polyester. Positively disgusting! And remember, to air is human, to forgive, divide. Watch the totally free movie, Polyester, Wednesday night at 8. Potato <laughs> yes, I think it'll work. Dirk mm. takes the old car. Along about daylight, it'll hit the high mountain country. Mm. First bend on the first deep grade. Mm -hmm. Fix brakes. No more Dirk. We're screaming mad at That way, it's just Don't another accident. No bullets to be traced. Mm -hmm. Only another accident in an old car with bad brakes. Sounds sexy. Not the slightest connection to us. No. What about the pictures he'll be carrying? Oh, okay. I'll shoot him. They'll think they're locked in a trunk. Then, um, lambs will attack, and then his pores get clogged and go untreated, and he dies. Actually, <laughs> there'll be no pictures at all. I'm not so sure I like that idea. I think it should be done more direct. Lee. Don't worry. Be trampy. Nothing can go wrong. Please, Mike, cover my eyes. Oh, that's it. I'm going to be a monster. Oh. <laughs> What's this girdle made of? Carbon graphite? Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, Yule Gibbons in his element, huh? Norman, are you out here? Wow, he's prepared well. He's walking so femininely. Ooh, suddenly I've lost my sinister urge. Janet Reno, look out. Let's kick it into Klein Overdrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A beneficial. A beneficial. Hey, it's Aristotle on acid. Oh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Klein. That was terrific. Hey, replace your divots. <laughs> Oh. That broad was a cop. And not a natural redhead. <laughs> uh, thanks, Johnny. How'd you find me? No time for that now. You gotta leave town for a while. Yeah. Yeah. 
But how? I'm broke. And I'm bunching. Here's a couple of bucks for you. That's all you're worth, doll. I got a delivery for you to make out of state. Stay there until I send for you. I'll do that, Johnny. Any particular state? I'll do just that. You got a car for me? One of Gloria's. It's all gassed up and ready to go. It'll make the trip easy. One of her old ones. Cause less attention. Don't check the brakes. The pictures are in the trunk, and there's a note on the front seat telling you where to make delivery. Now, come on. We've got to hurry. Thanks again, Klein. Must be a real emergency smut shipment. Ah, he's breakdancing. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, he's got a hot plate on the dashboard. That's like Grandma, Grandma, even, even, even. I saw a coyote. It's back there. There's another one. Wow, I'm actually making great time. <laughs> hey, a perfectly good shoe. Oh. <laughs> Mannix. Oh, Mannix. Oh, Mannix. Oh. The smut's gonna blow. Look out. Oh, oh, owie. Oh, 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 my butt. Oh, oh, that's right. My arm hurts. Yeah. Harry, keep the change. After his near death experience, Dirk learns a new appreciation for smut. Ah, oh, boy, feels good to be back at Smut Manor. Well, nowadays, these folks have had legitimate jobs for the USA Network. <laughs> well, I hope she's not dressed in saran wrap again. <laughs> Non-stop gate closing action. This is one criminal who will not let the dog get out of the yard. Oh, there. Go and try it, Daddy-o. Daddy-o? Not as long as I got this shit. Come here. Maybe some other time. Say, Tuesday? But not when I got this fixed, Daddy-o. That's it. Play it cool, man. Play it real cool. Got any letters you need open? Well, what's with you? You creeps figured you were real smart. Put me in that fixed car, didn't you? Only I don't think the angel bit. What are you talking about? You and the broad, you take all the big old and leave me with the crumbs. <laughs> Only now I decide I'm going to run the show. I'm going to put you both out of circulation. Look, Dirk, I, I don't want to put you in that car. It was all Gloria's idea. The whole thing was her plan. Sure. The car breaks everything. Sure, it was. Sure. I'm telling you the truth. Sure. <laughs> you ain't been chewing your whole life, Danny. No. Boy. I'll show you. You got to listen to me. Look, the men behind Gloria aren't tired of her. They want to change. You got to get your knee now, out of my groin. Her and, and we, you and I, we can own the whole deal. The whole thing. You understand? She's the one you want to take care of. I can get the names of her factors if you'll just give me the chance. Mm. What do you got to lose? What do you got to lose, huh? I got to talk it over with my lawyers. Just stop crying on your chin. But I'm vulnerable now, damn it. You'll see. I'll chance it, Johnny boy. You will? Oh, oh, yeah. But you better be right. Yeah. We'll just see what happens. Yeah. Okay, sir. All right. I'll be out here. Just don't slam the curtain. Okay. I'll be down the block and around the corner, so don't try anything. Oh, no idea. Porn would be so stressful. Yeah, this guy doesn't have the management skills to run a modern smut corporation. Well, because today it's a global smut marketplace, That's you right. know. Mm-hmm. Well, what kind of weird-ass get-up she going to have on this time? <laughs> ah, ah, she's dressed as the Blue Earth Sugar Beet Queen. <laughs> Looks like a toilet paper cozy. What are you doing here again? Ah, uh, guess who's not Dirk dead. didn't go <laughs> over the cliff. You're a bad dog. You're a jerk. I told you from the beginning that car idea was stupid. Oh, you're a fool. You've always been a fool. You know, she still looks better than Lucille Ball in Maine. I have as much a fool as you if you don't listen to me. What are you driving at? Just this. I have the word Dirk is after us. You and me. And when he goes after somebody with that knife, he doesn't stop until he's cut him up but good. Yeah, he's just crazy enough. There is a house in New Orleans called the Rising Sun. There is a way out. It's booze. Someone stole my neck. 
We can... Oh. We can see her backers. They'll take care of him. Besides, it's about time I met him. I'm in this thing up to my neck. Well, those two you owe me that much. You want to meet my backers, huh? As I said, you owe me that much. I rate it. I'm just wow. going to ask. Is this a juniper bush? Martin Tupper is a divorced guy looking and looking for the right woman. He's the classic case of the patient afraid to love. Yet he has the beat of romance in his heart. Follow the tormented love life of Martin Tupper. Watch Dream On, Monday through Thursday night at 10. How you doing? A little nervous? Yes, I'm a little nervous. I've got this secret. I buy myself flowers. Flowers for yourself? Oh, buying flowers for yourself is the best. Flowers are like fluoride for tough days. Brush your brush your brushing your soul. And flowers give you a healthy smile. Go away, bad days. Even the dentist would recommend it. Yes, I'm going to buy myself some flowers. Miss Abyss? You'll be all right. You're a big bee. Sunny skies today with brisky... You go to pass a slow-moving motorist. The road ahead appears clear. Suddenly, the semi comes out of nowhere. Which would you rather have for your defense? Dual airbags. Or what's been called the best V6 engine in the world? How about both? The Maxima from Nissan. The sparkling ship on crystal waters is coming. Absolutely gorgeous. It was so much fun. The perfect lobster is coming. Our readers, they would do anything for us now, any time. Perfection is coming. A gift from the captain. Memories are coming. Seven days in Royal Caribbean's Bermuda are coming. You've got some Royal Caribbean coming. Want Playboy's exclusive double feature video free? You'll get twice the excitement with Playmates Hottest Hideaways video, starring over 40 gorgeous Playmates. Plus, you'll also get Playmates Private Nights video with dozens of the most beautiful women ever captured by Playboy. This double feature video is yours free, and it's not available in stores. Get both videos absolutely free with a paid subscription to the world's most exciting men's magazine. Call now, and you'll also get Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. This dazzling full-color pictorial features some of the sexiest images ever revealed by Playboy. This exclusive TV offer gives you 12 great issues of Playboy. Month after exciting month at over 43% off the cover price. Call now and included in your subscription, you'll get the Playmate of the Year issue, the Pigskin Preview, the Gala Christmas issue, and the Playmate Review. All for just four low monthly payments of $8.74. Use your credit card for quicker delivery. Don't miss out. Call this toll-free number to get 12 exciting issues of Playboy. Plus, Playmate's Hottest Hideaways, Playmate's Private Nights, and Playboy's Playmate Fantasies free. You know, Johnny, yeah. it may not be such a bad idea as that. Glad you realize it. Okay, Johnny. I'll take care of you. I think you've lost the smut thread. I'll never regret it. Mm -hmm. oh, get I'm back sure in the smut. That. All right. I'll take you to them. But I have to change my clothes. Oh, you know, Johnny, I should have gone to the bathroom before you she really got here. You really are a pretty mm -hmm. smart fellow. I've been trying to tell you that for the past two years. Mm -hmm. But I have known, Johnny. Yes, I have known. Yeah. You were bound to put the pressure on sooner or later. After all, you have done so much for my organization. Mighty nice of you, Gloria. I toast your sleaziness. Yes, it is, isn't it? Uh, by the way, what are we talking about? I'm so lucky I'd mess with a girl just like Mom. I'm outside and it's cold and I forgot my plan. Oh, honey, uh, Dirk stopped by to talk about the double cross, and... Hey, could you scratch my back with your voice? <laughs> Listen, Dirk, uh, you need anything before we go to bed? I'm going to lock him. I what you said about the car. She just wanted to put the blame on me. Sure, she did. Better take cover before she comes out. We've got to get those names. Yeah. Names are important. Names good. Poor like names. But I don't see why I need you. <laughs> Gloria wouldn't give you the list. Why did you do that? Huh? Maybe I like the dark. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What? Oh, a puppet show? <laughs> what is that, a ducky? Oh, that's great. Hey, make it hit the monkey again. That's really funny. <laughs> You're really good. 
Where are you, Johnny? I'm in my formal pajama suit. Now she's dressing like Miss Hanson of the fifth grade. Oh, right in the sinister earth. Just like Ironside. Whatever gave you the idea I'd cut you in, Johnny? Hmm? You knew I never could stand a black man. Uh, I'm dead? You knew that. Yeah, but I'm dead. It's so... a lot more satisfying to be raped and then kill, you know. Yeah. Oh, this is the L&M moment. Mm -hmm. hmm. Finally have time for my skin care regimen. Oh, mittens, what did you do on my desk? He's calling confess a murder. Operator, give me the police station. Confess a murder, murder, plus one. Lieutenant Carson? hi -oh. <laughs> This is Gloria Henderson. Oh, yeah, I love your work. Jerk Williams just shot Johnny Ride here in my home. No, no, he took off right after the shooting. Mm -hmm. No, no, I won't touch him. Uh, I had to touch the phone to call you, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, this should be in the gun cozy. This is the type of scene Ed Wood does really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to frame the cushion. The princess and the peace. Just wait in the storage closet. You want to pull up that police car footage? Thank you. <laughs> it's so nice to have a patio when you murder people in. It's easy to hose off and mm -hmm. clean. Come on in. Outside on the patio. The light switch is behind the curtain. Keep everybody out at the corner and the lab boys get here. Yes, sir. Well, they're in the lab boy men love association. Kind of dark in here, too. It's the second switch. <coughs> this a murder victim? You told me not to touch anything, not even the light. So I didn't. Matt! You have to walk all the way across the room. Huh. T-shirt says, I love Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Who'd you say this guy was? Johnny Ride. Uh, you knew him pretty well? I should. He worked for me. Now, uh, Dirk Williams shot Johnny Ride, eh? <laughs> That's right. He broke into my home about an hour or so ago. That's great. Johnny and I tried to reason with him. We even gave him a couple of drinks. Wait, wait. And then Dirk pulled out his gun, <laughs> shot Johnny. Then he took off across the patio. Oh, Dirk ran, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get this straight. Dirk Williams shot Johnny Ride, and then Dirk beat it out of here, huh? That's right. What do I have to do? Draw you a picture? He shot Johnny Ride right over there. Over by the dead guy. Right? Show her, Randy. Johnny, let's show her who she shot. Oh, take a look. <laughs> this is so I great. It. The whole Stay movie off. was worth it to see this. Would our mystery stiff enter and sign in, please? Dirk! No, that can't be Dirk. Uh-uh. No, that's not Dirk. How did you make such a mistake in identity, Gloria? Up yours, Gumshoe. <laughs> Out of the way, lard ass. Ooh. <laughs> Bob Crane. Ooh. Matt, look at here. This is hilarious. You gotta see this. Looks like Johnny's here after all. Sir, shouldn't we get back to the office and speculate? Johnny! Uh -uh. No way. You're uh -uh. gonna have a lot of explaining to do down at headquarters. Mm. That, yes, you're right. I may well have some explaining to do. Maybe you'll let me reach for my gun. <laughs> Action sequence narrowly avoided. How about that? Minty. Recently fired. <laughs> Gloria's fingerprints on it. All we need to convict you for the shooting of Dirk Williams. Uh -huh. Well, this cleans up her gang and puts an end to those murder sex attacks. And we still have the smarts. Two young hoodlums. Two wasted lives. You know, Randy? What a good wife you would be. <laughs> stayed on it. You might have been a big man in the motion picture business. This face sure. is collapsing. It's like a well, turtle. Sink. Gloria's gun gave him a providential release in this compulsive madness. What about her bosses, though? The syndicate. Oh. Gloria will tell us who they are. The men behind this smut picture racket. Now, just tidy up here. Pornography. That's what I'm in the mood Nasty for. Nasty word for a dirty business. You know? Huh? All right. Let's go. 
No, we're going to take two cars. You want to follow us, Gloria? Hey, uh, you know what, sir? Now her apartment's available. <laughs> I'll just stand here and guard the end of the movie. Um, you guys are dead, huh? What's that like? Think the Dodgers are going to do anything this year? <laughs> I really admire how Ed Wood held back Klein until just the right moment. He exercised restraint. Really nice. Klein, wait with the corpse. <laughs> Klein, wait in the car. Klein, wait in the hoary netherworld. <laughs> when is it Klein's turn? <laughs> Goodbye, Klein, you nutcase. Yeah. Mike, can you talk? Good. In about two minutes, Dr. Forrester and Deep 13 are going to be blown into a million billion kajillion pieces. <laughs> How does that make you... Frank? Yeah? Hey, can you put Dr. F on for a sec? Sure thing. Clay, it's for you. Oh, thank you. Hello. Did you get the potato cakes? Yeah, I did. Uh, and listen, there was a meal deal, so I got two beef and Swiss, and I know I'm not going to eat them both. So Would you never mind about that? Get the... All right, hold on. Clay, this is Tom. Listen right. very carefully. Right. Did you get the deputy dog collector's glass? Ah, uh, get out of here. Clay, take yeah. out the potato cake and unwrap it. Right. Okay. Okay, don't eat it. Don't eat it. No. Break it in half. Okay. Don't burn your fingers. No. Okay, now waft the odor towards Frank. Time to die. <laughs> well, Mike, Dr. Forrester's about to make a mess of himself. <laughs> Hey, is that potato cake I smell? That's right, Frank. Oh. That's right. Oh. There we go. Oh. Okay. That's right. Ah. Well, I think I have everything under control down here. Carry on. Oh, boy. I wonder if Forrester's planning on killing Frank. <laughs> well, I could call Huggy Bear and find out. I better call Huggy Bear and find <laughs> I out. I better call Huggy Bear and find out. Come on now. We've got to read a letter. All right. I have a nice one here from Victoria Miller. Oh, oh, and, uh, put that picture up on Still Star. Where are you? Okay. Hey, what are you wow. It says, Dear Mike, Tom, and Crow. You guys. I did a science... Yeah, right. I did a science project on how different levels of gravitational force affect wheat seedlings. Oh, how exciting! Wheat! My science wheat. project went all the way to the International Science and Engineering Fair, where I won the first place Army and Air Force Award for so botany. Got it there. <laughs> they think I have the best botany project in the world. Well, I, I also won a first place NASA yeah. Award. Jeez, smart, so aren't you? Jeez. You're so smart, how come you didn't come up with the idea for speed, eh? Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, the bus not going under 55 miles an hour if you were really smart, smart you would have smart about him. Yeah. Nice yeah, nice letter though. That's right. Uh, I hope you weren't too hard on Frank, Dr. Forrester. <laughs> no, no. In fact, Frank should be done deep frying just about now. <laughs> ah, oh, there. Yeah. I'm deep fried. We're even. Now give me a hug. Walk. Down. <laughs> a presentation from Comedy Central. A year ago, this was me. So I leased a Volkswagen Golf and headed for the hills. Zero down, $1.99 a month. Very doable. Rule number one, only tourists can afford to live in a...